Hey guys, Thomas Joseph here, and today I'm super excited to share with you this kitchen conundrum. Now, it's summertime, it's hot out. What does everybody want? Well, they want ice cream, but nobody wants to go through the fuss of making ice cream from scratch and having to find your ice cream maker and make it. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a no-churn version, and the flavor variations are endless, and it literally takes five minutes to make. So. The first ingredient you're going to need is one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And this is very important for the no churn ice cream base because it is high, high, high in sugar. And also it's condensed or it's cooked down, which means that a lot of the original moisture or water within the milk has been evaporated. That means that we're going to get a very creamy and delicious ice cream and not something that's icy and sorbet like. And now the second ingredient that's very important is alcohol. What alcohol does is it lowers the freezing point of the mixture, which keeps the ice cream nice and soft. So without this, you're gonna end up with something that's a little harder and probably more firm um, and not really that smooth, creamy ice cream texture that we all love. So today I think I'm gonna use bourbon because I'm gonna make a vanilla ice cream because everybody loves vanilla ice cream, but you could really use any kind of alcohol that you have on hand. So in front of me, I have different variations. I have chocolate, so if you have a chocolate liqueur, that would be great. Coffee, you could use something like Kahlua, that would be wonderful. A mint flavored ice cream using creme de menthe here. Orange, you could use Cointreau or Grand Marnier, and of course vanilla, so I'm gonna start with the bourbon. So for 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, you need two tablespoons of whichever liqueur you're using. So two tablespoons. And now for the flavoring, I'm doing vanilla today, so I'm gonna need vanilla extract, but if you were making orange, you could use orange zest in place of the vanilla extract. If you're making mint, you could use peppermint extract. If you're using coffee, you can use ground espresso, which is really great. And for chocolate, you can use cocoa powder, and the amount is all the same. So it's two teaspoons of whatever that flavoring may be. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla here, and I'm just going to mix this up until it's nicely combined. Now, you need two cups of heavy cream that is icy, icy cold. I'm going to whisk it until it creates stiff peaks. And what this does is it gives you that wonderful air and lightness to the ice cream that you would otherwise get if you were using an ice cream maker and that churning. That's what develops the air pockets in ice cream and gives you that wonderful texture. And now gently fold the whipped cream into your sweetened condensed mixture here. Now I like to do that by starting off with a small amount of the whipped cream, stir it around in the sweetened condensed milk. And what this does is it lightens that mixture so that it will make it much easier for you to fold in the rest of the whipped cream without deflating all of that wonderful air that you've just incorporated. And so now for the remaining amount of whipped cream, and now gently fold this together. So now this is just about mixed. Pour it into a loaf pan. So this recipe makes one and a half quarts of ice cream and this now goes into the freezer for about six hours up to overnight and then you're ready to enjoy it. So whatever variation you can dream up, whether that's strawberry, peppermint, coconut, you now have the formula or the recipe to do so. I hope that I've encouraged you to try this at home and enjoy your summer. Now, if you have any kitchen conundrums that you need solved, write in the comment section below or reach out to me using the hashtag kitchen conundrums. And if you're making ice cream and you're taking pictures, send it our way at that hashtag. Enjoy.